the first thing that you will find if you go off to the Scrang for Helma um, is that uh, you will find that the delegation, which should have gone back up to the orbital platform, right, where they, where they would be staying, um, you will find that they are now um, uh, prevented or from going. Basically, the, the, the ship that, the, the satellite up there is the power source for the little shuttle. The shuttle doesn't have the engines to go up and down. It just gets, you know, into the big beam from the, the satellite and then it goes up in the beam. But the beam isn't coming and they are not able, the Scrang are not able to return. So when you go and meet the Scrang, you find them very perturbed. The group of them, about 15 of them, is very, very perturbed. And um, Kugol, their, their spokesperson, whom you have seen previously, uh, is extremely upset. The rest are upset with, with Kugol and said that, you know, what, what's happening? Why aren't we able to go back up? The, the beam has not come down. The cool little ship cannot go up the beam. And there, there's quite an upset and a, and a debate. They're, they're saying, you know, we, we knew it. Uh, the, the, they let those terrorists in here and now they're sabotaging everything. And so um, you may wander up to this group of upset Scrang who are, you know, debating, going and, and making the Voir and the Esau, you know, confess their crime and let them go back up to their, their base. This is against the agreed upon protocol. And everybody knows that that previous breach of protocol is no blood, no foul, and we're all forgetting about it. So never mind that part. Um, so that's when you come on up. Um, the, 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 the Scrang are not enormously taller than you, but they are very differently built with their bulbous heads and their their um, their their high tech clothes, um, and the the Kugo is is busy trying to manage the situation, saying, "I'm sure there's just some small problem." Um, and what would you like to do? Hmm. Oh, this is an open platform. This is like you're under the sky. This is a circular platform that the beam comes down upon and the the cool little ship is just sitting there waiting to be you know sucked back up there but it's not happening okay i'm doing this routine about like sorry to interrupt this may not be the right moment but i was sent to you to make sure we can share our information equally and everybody can continue with the work we were supposed to do here um okay uh kago you know frustrated points at one of the other scrang and just like points and flicks their digit you know you talk to that person <laughs> and that person sort of is deputized to go and talk to you because kago is busy so um so this other scrang will will come to you um and will uh, this is this is agok I seem to be getting very Klingon with my Scrangs. I don't know why. Um, but uh, but anyway, the Agok is uh, a, a Scrang who, who, you know, kind of me? Okay. Um, proceeds to you and proceeds to give you all of their titles, which is how they introduce themselves. Great, I can do that too, so... <laughs> If you do, that'll make Agok very happy. The exchange of titles is, yes, a, is a happy place for them. I mean, right. So. I mean, there's no... Mm -hmm. This is not really difficult to interpret. So so mm -hmm. I let them do... When they are finished, mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to come up with as long a title. But I'm going to 
present myself as Kixacol uh, from Amix. I am our chronicler, and so I'll be a lot faster. And I finish with I was sent here to make sure we can exchange information and continue with our work. But I can sense that you have problems that you may want to resolve. Agok is all about telling you. He says, listen, we, we have a problem. And Kago is kind of doesn't like to admit to problems. So maybe this is a really, really good opportunity to ask you um, that, that can we get some help? We we're, we're suddenly stuck here. There's something's going on up there. And I don't think that we really can afford any more little incidents of whatever origin. So maybe you could have the Avix offer us somewhere to sleep <laughs> um i mean he may use a different word it may not be sleep or whatever but you know can you it, so he's basically saying you know we, we have a problem and we can't stay here because the thrall have taken over everything i mean they took over the kitchen in there and made it work again so i mean what are we going to do so we're we're stuck So, you identify the problem on your mothership, well, not here on the ground. Correct. And not only that, but remember that the Thrall and the Skrang and the Luka were all using it as their base of operations. The Thrall have all come down here. And that leaves only one potential source of. I see your point. Mm. But do your compatriots have the same opinion? Well, will you act as a group or like the war who can't act as a group? He puts his back up at the mention of the war. We're nothing like them. We are a free people of open exchange of ideas and respect for individual views. We're nothing like the war. Having obviously unaware that he has just described the war. But the, 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 um, the, the way he puts it is, well, we, you know, when we have our free and open exchange of views, maybe, you know, your people aren't ready to understand that yet. But when we have our free and open exchange of individual views, then our legislative and representative processes will arrive at the, the right solution. Our process is built to always work toward what is the best policy. Um, it's... He kind of says, basically, you know, the, the, the mature form of government, democracy. So the, so he says not to worry. Uh, we, we will, I will present this idea, but we have to, he says, we have to Why don't we, if it's all right with you, why don't we go ahead and, and we'll, 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 he says, let, first of all, let's share that information you're talking about. So um, let's, he says, let's, let, we agree. We'll, we'll do full, open, oh, we have nothing to hide. Full and open information sharing. That's always our policy. If we arrange that you have this hospitality, it'll 
people. It'll become policy. It will it will become the it will become the, the conclusion that we've all agreed to. This is, you know, this this sort of back channel interaction is necessary for the proper function of the front end. And by the way, you came here alone, and he's impressed. You're very brave. You have nothing to fear, of course, but you're very brave. Um, I see. I am. I would like to see your democratic decision-making process in action before I see what arrangements may be possible to house you where we are says that's perfectly acceptable and he'll he'll walk back and he will whisper words in a couple of compatriots ears who then whisper in other people's ears and then everybody will finally stop talking and come to uh and 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 come to together to hear what's going on uh, surprisingly enough, a bunch of people speak as though they already know that they'll be staying with the AVIX and it's all arranged and everything's fine. So all we have to do is have the vote. All we have to do is have the vote on what's already all been set up. So only an idiot would vote against that. And um, everybody seems very relieved. Everyone, unanimous. Everyone loves this idea. I'm slightly concerned what he told them. Mm -hmm. uh, Ag Agok, is, Ag Agok comes back and says, you see, if only the rest of the peoples across the galaxy could have this kind of, of, of procedure, but that's all right. That's all right. I mean, in time. In time. That's one thing we've learned through all of these terrible times. Other people have to be given time. Okay, out of my <laughs> right now, I'm feeling very much grounded and not floating in the air. But I'm, I'm certain I got the order to relay information. So relay information. I will. I have them all gathered around me, so they're going to get to know everything. Ah, we know. Excellent. Wow. And after that, if this doesn't dissolve in some kind of cacophony, I'm, I'll have to try to explain to them that I have to go back on my own first and that there will be a delegation of competent people that will meet them here and make sure that um, possible transfer of them to our living quarters is arranged or help them to find out what the problem with our transfer system with our own living quarters is. Mm -hmm. And as somebody said, I was brave and going to try my utmost to, to present myself as if I don't see any possible way this could go south. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I, I'm in, I think that this will go just fine at this time because they're getting hungry. And they become very cooperative when they're hungry and worried about it. Challenge accepted. Yes. <laughs> so, therefore, um, I think that uh, you have I've done a fine job. Um you're kind of adopted by Agok, who says, if it's all right, can I, can I, may I accompany you? 
back to the, the Avix. I promise not to say anything. Thinking to myself while well, I'm already in trouble and I'm telling them. I brought him home. Can yes, I keep him? <laughs> I'm already so deep. <laughs> so that's, that's their fault. They keep sending you out places and things happen. All right. So um, in this case, I think that I would very much like to uh, make it clear to you. Um, Agok is, is doing as many uh, Agok is, is doing, you know, as many analyses as he can, um, and will say, you know, I, I really think that the, the Luca have, have taken over our station. I think that, uh, I think we're, I think we're in a lot of trouble. Okay. Um, therefore, uh, you are headed back there that's in long story short reluctantly the scrang are housed or helped by the avix um and the luca have indeed it is made known after a short time that the luca have secured the orbital station and that they are um they they have arrived at a policy that they think will be acceptable to everyone for the conclusion of this conference. And this will, policy will be made clear, you know, at, at the, the agreed upon meeting time tomorrow, or the equivalent of tomorrow, you know, next time unit, next cycle. We say cycle in science fiction, right? That's right. Yeah. Next cycle. How long is the cycle? We, we, I don't know. Whatever the plot seems, exactly. whatever the plot needs. So, yeah, do we all get this message? Um, I think that the the message from the Luca, yes, this will be, okay. this will be, um, uh, since all of you can be in communication with that station, that will be be made clear to you. So, um, they have secured the station for the safety of everybody. And they have, uh, and they have a solution ready to go, which they will present. Now, what would anybody like to get up to? I think that the that there is some trouble in the hive, but that, but Jerry, you go first. Tell me. Oh, well, I'm going to one side, you know, uh, basically bring back whatever, um, you know most we do for continuity for the new emissary then i will um you know skid around over to uh hyver uh Murkab dukin and say are you willing to go below with hyver certainly okay. i only have and, one uh, question go ahead jerry sorry i have oh, one question though uh yeah then uh basically hyver now was there one single way for us to get below to see the goodies or was it just intimated that, yeah, below us, there's something. Um, but one, we will go to that entrance and then go down, or that's where I'm going. The other, if, if, if there's not, you know, one single way to go down, then I will uh, request that drones dig us a hole from here to wherever, you know, get some worker drones to start digging. Um, so either way, um, if, you know, if it's easier, we'll take the existing route but that's what uh, i'll give you I some like i'll give you some answers about those options in a minute and you can choose the okay. uh, the thing i need to ask is to renee mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the mulching and brooding uh of this new emissary are you going to contribute to that mulch you gonna put chocolate in the peanut butter that's what i'm wondering <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Is it just? I wouldn't oh. want to play your character, but I just have to say that previous yeah. actions do kind of lead me to wonder if. No, I, I think that my perception, anyway, but what uh, the Murkaps uh, do are just—they actually, you know, they absorb other people's trash and they grow from it. Mm -hmm. So you know, whatever you know, they can, uh, you know, absorb. 
they, they will. will. It's not, not like, like they're, they're generating their own trash. But, you know, um, but no, I'm, I'm just kind of, whatever, whatever the hive leaves me, I will, you know, I will take that information. And that helps me actually in my perceptions of, of others. That's why I always kind of thought of the Murkats, how they, uh, they kind of use their, their spores that you're taking whatever's in the ground. You're taking what people dismiss and you, you reuse it. So that's kind of what, you know, in my mind anyway. Uh, now, I'm does just, Murkat just, take a dump? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but once, you, once you throw out a spore, doesn't that have like actual, I guess, information embedded Absolutely. in it? Yeah. yeah. So, so, so this is, and yes, you've mulch. already said that you've been, you know, expelling your habitual vapors. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I think yeah. there's something going on here. I think that yes. if in, in Dukin's, Absolutely. in Dukin's uh, heart of hearts or whatever that may be, <laughs> um, what would be the, the best for the high? 